powered by WCTV.TV. Eyewitness News at 6 starts now. The first COVID-19 vaccine could receive FDA approval as early as this week, but so far we've seen little to no messaging from the state encouraging public confidence in the vaccine. At the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan, and I'll have that story coming up. Plus, certified again, Georgia finalizing its election results in the presidential race today, what it'll mean going forward. But first, the FSU community in mourning after a student was found dead inside a fraternity house. We're learning more about his death. Good evening, I'm Julie Montanero. Ben has the night off. Authorities have not yet released that student's name, and there are still lots of questions about what happened. Emma Wheeler is live at the fraternity house right now with the latest information. Emma? Julie, the Florida State University Police Department says there is still a lot of work to be done in this case. Today, investigators were continuing to interview people who might have been with him the night before. Although this case is still open, they do not suspect there to be any kind of hazing or any kind of foul play. Now, police tell us he was found unresponsive.